Good morning, guys. It's Brunch with Joe. It's Sunday morning, 8.30 Pacific, 10.30 out there back in Chicago. And uh, we're going to be making blackened tilapia with asparagus today. And we have a uh, wonderful guest here, Tina Williams, a good friend of mine. Good morning. And uh, today we are in our brand new Lynx Viral Studio here, guys. And uh, you won't have to put... <laughs> Deal with me and my iPad being crooked and all that good stuff. Uh, we got some real good professionals here doing this for us today. Um, I'm also, we got our brand new Food Mafia Nation line going today. We got the, uh, you know, we got t-shirts. We're going to have aprons, oven mitts. Um, and as you know, guys, the platform of the show is you cook along with us or you make the recipe take a picture of it send me some comments let me know what ingredients you guys changed and as you guys are sending uh, your stuff in we're going to start pulling names and getting some of this uh, swag out to you guys um, it's also available for you guys to pick up if you want if you don't win just let me know and uh, you guys can order it but uh, let's get going here with our tilapia because we only have a half hour guys so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our butter. And let me get my, my bad boy going here. And we're going to start melting the butter. And you're going to use a good quality grass-fed butter. You want a good healthy fat. Um, you guys don't want to be using uh, corn oil or any of that stuff. We want good healthy fats, guys. And then um, we got our mix of ingredients. For our spices here, if I can get this bad boy open here. All right, we got a little bit of cayenne pepper in there, and uh, I'm gonna let Tina tell you what she's got in here. <laughs> some parsley, some pepper, got a little bit of salt in there. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my my bowl here. I'm gonna save a little bit for our asparagus. I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping the uh, tilapia in here. Alright guys, and um, make sure you guys are getting a good wild-caught tilapia. Um, the stuff that is farm-raised is uh, not always the best quality, guys. So make sure you get that good wild-caught tilapia. I'm going to go ahead and just douse this in spices here. Make sure we get a lot of good spices going here. Let's get that butter melted. Let me get these things opened here. Oh, that would be awesome. Look at that, my wonderful assistant here. <laughs> I didn't just want to stand here. Looking yeah. Good. <laughs> Go ahead and pop that one open. Whoop. Yep. Go ahead and pull this bad boy out of here. Just enough spices there. All right, make sure your stuff is uh, nicely covered there. Use my little nap, my towels here. There we go. Get this last one going here. Get that butter going, guys. In the meantime, Tina's going to start preparing the uh, asparagus over there. And uh, she's just going to cut the ends off. And make sure. I'm going to put a little bit more spices in here. I want to make sure this stuff is coated nicely. I think we're going to just butter the asparagus today. Oh. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. And remember, this is about finding your healthy. If you like a, a different fish besides tilapia, you can always swap that out. And remember, guys, as you're cooking with us, or even if you uh, do the recipe a little bit later, make sure you're sending me your pictures of how everything turned out. Make sure you're telling me comments of what you're swapping out. 
If you guys are swapping ingredients, maybe you don't like uh, cayenne pepper, you like something else, just put in the comments what you swapped out, and then let me know how it tasted. How did, how did, you know, how did it come out? Did you think it was a good swap? Maybe you would try a different ingredient next time. The whole purpose of this, guys, is to have fun while you're finding you're healthy. And uh, you could find all these ingredients pretty reasonably. Did we post the ingredients? Uh, not yet. We're going we're gonna to do that in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and drop my tilapia in here. Got it all spiced up. We want these, uh, should have brought another rag up here. <laughs> That's right. um, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start melting some butter on here because we want to add some extra melted butter once it's done. I'm going to melt it in the other pan here, but while we're doing that, let's get this stuff blackening on this side. And while this stuff is cooking, I'm going to uh, introduce you guys to Tina, my good friend. She's got her own business here. How you doing? And she's going to tell you a little bit about what she does and uh, why she does it. Most definitely. I am a nail tech massage therapist. I'm uh, certified in reflexology. I love to massage. I like to make you feel good. Uh, my business is called Evolutions 357, and it is located here in Las Vegas in the nail industry over off of uh, Valley View in between Valley View and um, Charleston absolutely guys and she's amazing I'm a uh, I'm a type 2 diabetic uh, that's the reason we started doing this show um, I found out when I ended up in the hospital for for four days my blood sugar was over 500 um, my a1c was over 12 and I was feeling tired. I had a cut that just wouldn't stop bleeding. And all of a sudden I started getting blurred vision. That's when I figured I better go get it checked out. Ended up in the hospital for four days. Got my blood sugars down a little bit. Was controlled by medication. Um, just by pills for about four years or so. About a year, a little over a year ago, my blood sugar started spiking. And my doctors put me on insulin. Sugars kept going higher. And I found a functional medicine doctor, the amazing Dr. Justin Coop. Yeah. And uh, he changed my diet over to paleo, gave me a couple supplements. Within two days, my blood sugars dropped in half. And within a month, I was off all my medication just by changing diet, adding a couple supplements without a lick of exercise, guys. I have lost over 80 pounds over the last year. Um, and, and I can't tell you how much better I feel. I don't have the the creak in my hips I used to have. Um, it, it's just amazing what happens when you give your body the nutrients that it needs. Um, so that, that's the reason we're doing the show here. But as a diabetic, you have to make sure that your nails are, are cut properly. Otherwise, you can get ingrown toenail and infection, and that's not good for a diabetic. So I found Tina, and she does an amazing job making sure my, my toes are taken care of. My feet are taken care of. Um, as diabetic, it's the first thing that usually gets affected is your is your feet that you that you notice about. Most definitely. Yeah. Stuff like that to the professional. Absolutely. And and that and that's what I do best is I do what I do and I let the professionals do what they do, guys. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, get this butter off here because this is what we're gonna put on our fish when it's done. And then we're going to get the rest of the butter in here so we can get our asparagus going. Because we are uh, blackening up that tilapia as we speak here. Um, I'm going to have you cut those in half. Okay. Because we are using a smaller pan here. And I want to make sure they fit in all right. Gotcha. Um, at home, if you guys want to keep them long and, and use a bigger pan or throw them on the grill, guys, it's summer. You can do this on the grill as well, guys. Yes, they're marvelous. Um, I, I love the grill. I throw some seasoning on there. Absolutely. And a good, healthy butter, guys. you got to have a good, healthy fat in your life there. Uh, these are, this is everything, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to start tossing it all in here. Get some of the 
the props in there. And all you're doing is sauteing these in the uh, the pan here. We're going to throw a little bit of the seasoning that we got left down there. I'm just going to toss it on top here, guys. And we're going to mix it in as it's cooking here. And I like to cover my lid there and help it cook a little bit quicker. I'm going to turn that down because we're not looking to blacken the, the asparagus, just the, just the tilapia. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, man. That's looking good. That is looking amazing. And what does it smell like? It smells even better. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have smell cam, guys. I, I, wish, I wish we did. I wish you guys could smell what it smells like in here. It's absolutely incredible. Um, I don't know if you guys like fish, don't like fish. Um, if you don't like fish, you can change it out with chicken. But um, like just chicken. Yep. Or whatever your favorite meat is. Uh, if you were doing a steak, I'd cut it thin. <laughs> Same thing with chicken, guys. But um, th this stuff smells absolutely incredible. Yes. I want to thank you, Tina, for bringing this recipe in. No, I'm honored to be here. Being that it's your first in the studio. This is the first yes. studio, and you I'm are our first guest. Here. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, you coming here, come here. And, uh, and, and letting everyone know what you do. And uh, I like making people feel good. I like awesome. when you walk away. Awesome. See so you guys. You guys get healthy and then go get your body taken care of. Get a nice massage. Most definitely. Get those nails done, toenails done. And, uh, you know, you feel good. You look good. Life is good, guys. So we got a couple more minutes here until we get the, uh, yeah, un until we get the, uh, Tilapia done here. We're going to keep mixing the yes. asparagus here because you don't want to burn it. You just want it to get cooked. That's the sauce. Yep. We're just sauteing this in butter with a little bit of the spices. And can you smell those spices? Yes, I can. That stuff is amazing. This is a, this is a meal that was inspired by my brother, Sean Williams. Awesome. Yes. Unfortunately, Sean couldn't be with us today. He was going to. He's going to be here, here, but here. absolutely, here. absolutely, unfortunately, you know, we, we all got jobs, we got to, we got to work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> So, but I do appreciate it, make sure you let him know I sure will. how much I appreciate his uh, contribution here. Man. And uh, we got a few more minutes here, guys, and then we're going to go ahead and start plating this stuff. Um, if you guys got any questions or comments or anything, go ahead and put them in there, guys. Let me know if you're cooking with us, um, and let me know if you like a different ingredient. Maybe, uh, you know, if you don't like fish or you don't like tilapia, like a different type of fish, let me know. And, uh, you know, let me know how, how it turns out for you guys. Hey boss, Johnny says, go get him, tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> All right, guys, this fish is just about done. Yeah. And our asparagus will be done in a minute. We're going to get these plates. Let's go ahead and move this stuff out of the way so we can bring our plates over here and start to get this stuff plated because, as my good friend Lindsay Antman always tells me, you should be plating your stuff at home just as if you were in a restaurant, guys. Food should be something you're going to enjoy, not just something that you're going to eat. So when you plate it, you should be plating it just like you're going to be at a restaurant and uh, make it look amazing. Presentation, right? Hundred percent. Most definitely. Hundred percent. When you when it looks good, it tastes good, guys. That's right. Oh, this asparagus is cooking nice. And it smells good. We're getting it nice and soft here, guys. Oh, my Man, I can't wait. My mouth is watering. I know. I'm <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get this fish on here because this fish is, looks done. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, get our plate here. Down on the side. Let's go ahead and get a plate here. 
Oh my goodness, look at that. The fish is so cooked it's falling apart. <laughs> I love it. Man, that's when you know your fish is done, guys. Oh, wow. Yep, well, I don't even have to cut it. It's already ready yeah. to go. I'm going to use a spatula on this one. I want this one to look nice and pretty for you guys. There you go. There you go. Yes. Look at that. Yes. Let's get some asparagus on there, guys. Look at that. Man, you are the best assistant I ever had. Hey. She's over here showing all the, yeah. the food over here. Hey, I ain't up here just for nothing. That's right. <laughs> Let's get some asparagus on here, guys. I gotta get some new tongs. These things are driving me crazy. All right, get that other plate. Why don't you show that one off with all the asparagus on there? All right. Yeah. There you go, guys. Yes. This is our uh, blackened tilapia with asparagus. I don't know about you, but I'm going to give this thing a try. This okay, thing looks well, delicious. Grab your fork right. and jump on in. Wow. Our seasoning is good. Our seasoning is incredible. Yes, it is. Mmm. It's good. <laughs> Guys, this asparagus, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This stuff is amazing. Mm. Asparagus is one of my favorite vegetables, as, as well as Brussels sprouts. You guys know that. Yes, yeah. But uh, yeah, this stuff is absolutely incredible, guys. How long did that take? What? About 20 minutes. All together. You guys can come home from work. Very inexpensive meal. You can go get a, a nice bag of tilapia seasonings. Probably cost you uh, 15 to 20 bucks to feed your whole family. You know, on this show, I am a finance guy at heart. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're keeping stuff inexpensive on here, guys. And uh, this is very, and it, and it goes a long way. Yeah, you can feed your whole family for 15 to 20 dollars. Yeah. Probably have a couple leftovers, take the lunch. So you're not going out to a fast food place, you're bringing some healthy. Healthy lunch to work with you, and it's absolutely incredible, guys. And we'll have the recipe posted up uh, probably in about 15 minutes or so. Mm. Get you all the ingredients, the recipe. You saw how easy it is, a couple pans. Um, you might not even need the second pan if you're out with the grill. And like I said, if you're, putting, if you're gonna put this on the grill, I would put it in some foil. I would take the butter, put the butter on the bottom of the foil, Put the sloppy in there. Yes. Cover it up. Give it a, about three or four minutes. Flip it over to the other side. Let that butter get to the other side, so everything gets blackened. Um, asparagus. I'm a little crazy, so I just throw that thing right on the grill. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, I, I trust myself; it's not going to fall through the grates. But a little <laughs> bit of aluminum foil on top of the grill. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Nope, you're good to go. And. Uh, other than that, guys, make sure you guys are, are, are cooking along with us or, or at least making the recipe during the week. Let me know how many times you're cooking at home as opposed to going out. We want you guys to start cooking at home more um, because it will save you money as well as uh, get you guys healthy. And um, make sure you're posting stuff, guys. Most definitely. Hey, boss, Kenneth says he loves the dish. Awesome. Thanks, Ken. I'm glad hey. you're on here, man. Tell you everyone back in Chicago I said hi. <laughs> Anybody wants to come and, and visit the nail industry, it is at 900 Valley View, Suite 115. They have private suites in there, so it's not like you have to be all about it. It's more personal. And, you know, there's no hurry, no rush. You get beverages. You get remote cable TV. I have zero degrees chairs to where I can go ahead and assist you even more as far as when I'm um, servicing your feet. Absolutely, guys. I, I'm telling you, that's, that's my highlight of the week. 
I get in there and you know running around all day my feet are are abused man. especially carrying this body around man <laughs> <laughs> those, those things get abused so I go in there and uh, she does those nails and gets that, that massage of the feet going guys it is like heaven I'm oh, telling you you got to move it around you got to respect your feet they carry you through everything you do is so, probably the least thing that feet. we take care of is our feet. <laughs> Man, gotta get them feet. Yep. It's important. Absolutely. Keep your balance. You know what I mean? Massage is good as well. Massage is good. Yep. Yes. We have a callus queen in there. Come and help you get your feet looking smooth. <laughs> Slide right on across something. Awesome. Yeah, I got calluses on my feet, guys, and <laughs> she, she does a, an amazing job with them. But, uh, yeah, definitely uh, get out there, get your, take care of yourself, guys, and make sure that your your whole body's healthy, and enjoy this uh, delicious tilapia. Jordan, um, I thank you for allowing me to come on your first episode. I appreciate I appreciate you being on here. Most definitely. This was an absolutely incredible experience, and it I'm is. glad I got to share it with you. It is. Um, these guys are professionals over here. And they are. And. Um, it's just been a pleasure and what a difference not having to run everything myself guys <laughs> i appreciate it thank Most you definitely they calmed me yeah i was nervous and they just let me <laughs> be me they showed me that so now i am grateful for that yep yes all right well i think we're gonna end uh, a couple minutes early guys uh this cook that quick guys just that there's quick. no reason you can't come home and uh and just make this meal for your family and make sure you guys are coming on here and we appreciate you guys being part of uh, Food Mafia Nation. We want to spread the word out there, help everyone find their healthy and, um, you know, grab your swag and promote it out there and, and let's get everyone in this nation and get everyone healthy, man. Let's just, uh, you know, and the next show is going to be next Sunday. 8.30 uh, Pacific Time, 10.30 Central, and we've already got our guest for next week. Um, she is a personal trainer that also does neurology stuff, more complex than I can comprehend. Right. But she's going to bring some foods here that, that actually stimulate the brain, and she's going to tell you why you need to eat more, and uh, it's just going to be incredible, guys. Don't miss it. Tell you all your friends. Make sure they jump on. Because uh, you're not going to want to miss these shows, guys. we got some great guests coming up. And you're going to learn so much information on these shows. Most definitely. So I think that's it for us, guys. Have a great week. And uh, make sure you find your healthy this week, Thank guys. Thank you. Find your healthy.